So after watching video one, the man-made drought, you might be wondering why the Murray-Darling Basin Authority wants all this water in the first place. I mean, if the rivers have water, but the farms are dry, then who's getting the water? Where is all of this going? Some of it is going to farms further downstream. There are farms that have had an allocation of water this year. So some of what you see behind me is being put to good use. But 70% of the water that flows down our river systems is environmental water. What does that do? Well, the MDBA breaks it down for us. They use water to improve the health of forests and the habitats of fish and birds, improve connections between the floodplains and rivers in the River Murray system, replenish groundwater, and they list lots of other things that all sound good. I mean, we all want our natural environment to be healthy. But a little earlier on in that list, there's some things that are different. You'll notice that the Lower Lakes and the Coorong feature heavily in their objectives. We'll cover that specifically in the next video. But for now, I want to focus on one objective, Objective C. Ensuring the mouth of the Murray River is open without the need for dredging in at least 95% of years. I'll go into detail about the lower lakes in the next video, but what you need to know right now is that keeping the mouth of a river open requires a huge amount of water to be flowing through constantly. I mean massive amounts of water. Even the MDBA admits that the rivers can't cope and they'll have to deliberately cause man-made floods in order to pull it off, destroying crops and farms in the process. And that massive volume of water isn't being used to restore groundwater or biodiversity. It's literally just evaporating or flowing out to sea. In 2016, the MDBA had the chance to show us what that looked like. Heavy natural flooding in the Murray-Darling Basin meant that the Murray River was in unregulated flows. That means it was very high as it crossed the South Australian border. The MDBA spied their chance to test their theory and open up the Murray mouth using the power of that flood. But to make sure it worked, they also began releasing billions of litres of water from here in the Menindee Lakes on the Darling River. These lakes went from being, well, lakes to, um, look at them. And the water from here, combined with the massive flood that was already in the river, created a huge flow of water through these barrages and out through the mouth of the Murray River. So did they achieve their desired objective? Did they open the mouth of the Murray? Well, yeah, they did. But then just 10 days later, dredging resumed as the Southern Ocean again overpowered the Murray and filled the mouth with sand. All of this water wasted for nothing. But it gets worse. Shortly after the majority of the water in the Menindee Lakes was sent out to sea, heat and low inflows took its toll and blue-green algae started appearing here in the Darling River. Now ordinarily, the Menindee Lakes would be a refuge for fish and we could combat the blue-green algae by releasing fresh water into the river and all would be well. But this time, they couldn't. They'd already wasted all of that water in their futile attempt to keep the mouth of the Murray open. You may remember it made national news as a million or more fish, including Murray cod at least 50 years old, started showing up dead, unable to survive in the oxygen-deprived waters of this sick river. This zombie water was literally killing everything it touched. Yes, it was the heat and the blue-green algae that did the damage, but it was the MDBA stupidly sending all the water out to sea that meant we couldn't stop it. And to this day, the MDBA refused to accept any responsibility for the worst fish kill in Australian history. And that pretty much sums up this entire issue. The MDBA are hell-bent on achieving their stated environmental outcomes, regardless of whether they make sense or not, and no matter the cost. The very body that is supposedly restoring the river environment is responsible for the zombie water that caused the worst environmental disaster that this part of the world has ever seen. But now they're trying to outdo themselves, destroying our farms, our country towns, our food supplies, not to mention the lives of our farmers, all so that they can have more water to flush out to sea. The MDBA have been around for 12 years now, and the Basin Plan has been in place for long enough to know it's not working. And this ambition of keeping the Murray Mouth open on 95% of years using fresh river water? It's impossible. It's never been like that, not even before European settlement. But in the next video, we'll look at how that could be achieved using ocean water. It's time to stop the Basin Plan and either abolish the MDBA or recreate it with a charter that prioritises outcomes for farmers over sending water out to sea. So far, the MDBA has done nothing but harm to our farmers and to our environment. I don't know how much more of this abuse our environment can take, but I do know that our farmers 
can't take much more.